The latest print is the lowest jobless rate since the third quarter of 2023. During the last quarter of last year, employment rose by 132,000. By sectors, job gains were mostly seen in finance and manufacturing. PwC senior economist Christy Falyun says it is common to see a slight drop in joblessness during this period because of December season work. It's probably one of our best numbers since COVID, so very happy with that. We created about 350,000 jobs last year, which is great news. Better than could be expected with economic growth. But yes, fourth quarter numbers are often seasonal. Uh, we know that with holiday spending, there's more jobs in retail, uh, accommodation, hospitality, etc. And then when we get to the first quarter, those numbers get adjusted again as some of those temporary jobs end. But for me at the moment, as we... Um, Heading to the budget speech, where we have to think about tax revenue and those things, taxes on personal income. This is a good good signal, uh, something that, that rounds off the 2024 data that tells us 2025 could actually be a good year from a jobs perspective. The expanded definition of unemployment, which includes those that are discouraged from seeking work, remained unchanged at 41.9% in the fourth quarter of last year. I think the problem here is that your unemployment is quite high and your economy is not growing. So ultimately, to get tax receipts, people have to make money. If they're not making money, there's nothing to tax. So the key is always economic growth. You're not going to tax your way to economic growth. However, the youth unemployment rate, which measures job seekers between the ages of 15 and 24 years old, is further to hit a one-year low of 59.6% in the fourth quarter of last year, compared to 602 in the previous period. Whenever you see that youth number coming down, because that is really a big, big challenge for us. So I'm very happy. But again, some of that would be seasonal jobs. And we know in the first quarter of the year, lots more young people enter the labor market because they would have finished with high school, college, university, whatever their tertiary training might be. So the, the trick is always to understand the first quarter numbers. I know it's only a few months away, yeah. but I think there is quite optimism about that because we're looking at much stronger economic growth this year than last year. Kosatu's parliamentary coordinator Matthew Park says while this is good news, but more still needs to be done. So whilst we welcome every single new job and welcome every little bit of progress going forward, it really must be another wake-up call that we must do more to ensure ESCOM can provide reliable and affordable electricity for the economy, for consumers, that transit is fully operational to unlock mining, manufacturing and agriculture, that materials fully return to productivity or to all lines, so we help boost the urban economy, make it cheaper for workers to get to work on time. Then we see how to expedite the rollout of the infrastructure program to stimulate the economy. But also government needs to come with a much larger, bolder industrial, SME and export financing program. And also to ramp up public employment programs to help provide a path to employment for young people and for workers generally. FNB says while the fourth quarter data shows reasonable employment gains, the labor market remains structurally constrained amid weak economic growth. It says more infrastructure reforms and investment, along with improved governance and service delivery at the municipal level, will be critical to sustaining growth and meaningfully boosting employment. Diabosito, SAPC News, Johannesburg.